Patreons, if you wonder where was I, what I was doing all this time, actually it wasn't a vacation or not even a workation like the last time. This time I took time off to 100% work, 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 because uh, I bought a, a house and in case you wonder, uh, with my career in, and the dolls that, that I make, I'm not a millionaire, I don't have a lot of money, so I was able to save money to, during the years and able to buy a house on the budget. <laughs> Which it means, probably, I don't know if you might mean that, but you know what that means. We needed to fix a lot of things. <laughs> Uh, it was an old house in the forest. It, is, it was my dream. I mean, I was saving, I was saving my lifetime of working my ass out just to buy my own house. And thanks to my to my partner and, and my boyfriend at Flip, Flip Masters, we are doing this together. Okay, and uh, <laughs> that was what I was doing. I it uh, I supposed to stay three weeks and ended up being four, so a month working on the house i promise i'm going to try to find you because i'm pretty sure we got it the after call the house look after were we able to finish this no <laughs> Sadly, no. but let me show you the room that we were able to finish because this house not just needed a remake like aesthetic aesthetics it needed like plumbing job and an electrical job that was uh, some of that stuff was out of our hands like things we were not expecting to have problems with. But anyway, <laughs> let me give you a little tour. Uh, so this is the mud room. Uh, we were able to finish and paint. We still have to do the floor. Uh, I've, unless, if you've seen this before, I paint the door. I, it was all white. It was all white. The walls were white. This was red, but I, I add a little bit of a, a dark uh, shadows here. And also I did a different kind of painting, the one that has like a texture. Uh, of course I clean, I clean everything first. Uh, look what we did here, ah, brand new. This is all brand new. Uh, of course I'm able to do the artistic part and Flip is able to do all the kind of like installation and technical and constructor part of the job of restoring this house. Uh, like I said, we need we need to do the floor still. Uh, so all of this, this is the mud room going into the uh, dining room. This area over here, the huge windows. I wanted to put a lot of plants. I have a little bit of plants and uh, toilet paper <laughs> just in case. Oh, uh, look at this little area. I was able to go. This is the entrance to the kitchen. So this is what I was able to finish. <laughs> and I am very proud of it. Of it. Uh, I was, uh, we were going with, uh, shopping to uh, thrift stores. So every single, Nick, how do you call these things? Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick, Nick. Nick, Nick. Things. Oh, this is flips. <laughs> That's not mine. Very, very beautiful though. Every single little pieces, uh, you won't believe how many things we were able to find on uh, thrift stores. Even our couches, uh, uh, the bed, and some other. Ah, oh, this one, this furniture was also from the from the, from the thrift store, and I repainted that. That was the videos you were able to see. I have a recopilation of that, exclusive just for you guys. And yeah, this is thrift store. Oh, look at the barn door. So the barn door was white. Ew. A beautiful barn door. You should keep the you should keep the color of the wood. And it took it took us a hell of a try to stripe the paint off. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much the real uh, color and I stain it. And this is chalk paint. I finish it uh, with that in. Now it's a beautiful barn door. That is worth it. The troubles. This is the laundry room. It looks like junk right now, but it was a uh, baby duck yellow. It was baby duck yellow, and uh, I paint. I paint the whole thing. The only ugly thing left over is this ugly uh, or uh, orange, lime green. So I painted all. I was able to paint all this thing. We need to do flooring here too. All the floorings need to be done. So, oh, here is the, 
this is our pile our stack also from a discount everything we got because you know I'm, I, we were on a budget everything most of the stuff is uh from discount stores and which they have uh here in uh, new mexico called rock uh, i am very happy to they have many other stores around here so oh look at my runes that's brand new too flip put the wood and i did the artwork with burning burning the wood and then i stain it so that this is my first mark on here very personal mark on here other than the painting job and we just finished this little arc of the of this, this we just finished that today that's the last day i'm gonna i'm gonna be here and then i have to go back to la do some job and then i will be moving back here surprise i'm moving from la and you guys have the exclusive hopefully you do so that's it this we were able to finish these two rooms and here's all pretty much all of these we bought it like not discounted this is the only thing we pretty much bought it not not the i mean retail price from the store and as you can see we need to do the kitchen i had to finish it in there uh a friend of us was helping us to do the electric um uh, we ripped off whatever it was here it was a sink which who puts a sink away from the window the sink has to be on the window yeah look at that view look at that view yeah we are in the forest this is the forest the other day we saw our elks and elks and deers are actually our neighbors and yeah so this is the kitchen we are gonna get rid of the giant <laughs> do you see these <laughs> we're getting rid of that <laughs> just because flip doesn't like it i like roosters but this is too big i might have my little rooster later and yeah this is all there has to be redone. This is the uh, the living room. We have a, a real uh, fire chimney. You call it this? It's called an insert fireplace. Uh huh. It's a, but it's a real one, uh, which is something that excites me a lot because I, I love I love that. Uh, let's walk to the. We need to fix that. Let's walk to the bedroom. We found this in a discount store. And we are we are very proud about this baby here <laughs> because you cannot imagine how much this cost this uh, cost uh, full price. Uh, we got a little bit of stuff for our uh, bed. We have a nice lamp over there. Uh, this is a beautiful another discounted store find. Uh, uh, the furniture for the bathroom. You will see this all together. I promise you, I'm going to show you the whole thing together because I was showing you that. I was showing you the bathroom. This is so far, so far how we are going with this. This is brand new. Uh, yeah, as, as you were able to see in the previous videos, the, the bathroom original is tiny and it was destroyed and we built the walls. And this baby, I promise you I'm going to show you the bathroom when it's finished because this is going to be crazy. You know, I'm an artist and um, Flip up, uh, had the soul of an artist too, so he supports me in all my crazy ideas <laughs> to decorating and doing the house. So we've been working uh, hard right now. Uh, the interior walls are pretty much done. This is going to be a panel, a white panel going all over it. That's why we painted that way, not because we're cheating. Well, maybe too. <laughs> So this is gonna be very, 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 very pretty in the end. Uh, so yeah. Oh, flip did the floor. We can't really see it that well. Look at these, beautiful. When it's all clean, it will look even better. Ah. So, okay, you guys, that was my four weeks. No vacation, no vacation, but working hard. <laughs> Just working, like working, working. And um, I appreciate you guys for being still here supporting me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm back and I will be working out how we're making more videos for you, okay? Well, we're doing a little bit of painting today. And I thought maybe I would uh, take the camera on, let's take a look at what uh, Noah's been doing. She is turning this overall gross red wall here 
into something absolutely amazing. As you can see, it's going to look so much better. It'll look good. So let's walk around real quick and I'll show you the rest of the house. So we've been tearing all kinds of stuff out. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, very entertaining to say the least. But uh, we're going to have this right here is going to get torn out completely removed. And let's bring it back to the bedroom. Here's the fireplace. So there's all kinds of stuff going on in here. There we go. So there is the new bathroom from the original bathroom. We'll have to show you a little clip of that right here, or at least a photo. So yeah, that isn't that crazy as well. So this little bad boy here is going in. We ordered this claw foot tub here. That's gonna be going to the bathroom. And we got this beautiful four post solid wood bed piece. So right now there's squirrels actually on the roof and they're, uh, not the roof, but uh, up there at the top, there's squirrels in the trees and they're dropping freaking stuff on us right now. This is kind of a pain. Anyway, so we are doing everything we can to kind of get going and get the house finished here. We've been working on it like non-stop trying to get it done. Uh, it's going to take a while, but uh, I, I think we can pull it off. I think we can get it. I'm sorry about my lighting. Lighting isn't uh, very good right now. Let me see. I can turn it up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too grainy, but uh, yeah. I'm working on that right now. I'm getting that board put down at the moment. The cost of lumber is so outrageous right now. There was actually a sale on birch three-quarter plywood. So I was like, who does subfloor with birch plywood? Well, I am <laughs> because it was on sale. And uh, it was actually cheaper by like $8 from normal um uh, subfloor three-quarter ply plywood just normal plywood so i'm gonna go ahead and get that and get it done but uh no i haven't I haven't vlogged i'm sorry guys i've been kind of busy and working on all kinds of stuff and we're working on so many projects as you can see is noah just going crazy look what she did there with this looks so good Isn't that amazing she did that there we actually uh, picked that up at um uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore. So we got that over there and, and she's painting and making it look good. All the other cabinets and everything will be going in soon. But uh, so this is vlog number one. Sorry I haven't gotten it sooner. Been too busy. But I will, uh, I promise to eventually get back and getting it done. So guys, we'll check out with you later and uh, try to get some more done and show you a little bit. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. I think I burned my previous brush, it's all bended and twisted. But I was trying this little piece. It's not giving me the shadowing thing, but it's giving me the aged uh, look, which I wasn't I wasn't going for that, but it's good, look good though. <laughs> I'm gonna try another brush. I'm trying in the little pieces and this a small part, so we'll see how it goes. I'm still trying to do a dry brush technique now. This brush. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's a matter of the brush. This is another way it can look actually. Show it with a what was it called? Distress. Shows with distress uh like lines. Shading, my, my thing was going for shading, but for some reason, I don't want to work with shading. <laughs> I might be doing something wrong, I'm pretty sure. So, this is like not the shading, but it's called distress. I wasn't going for that. Uh, this one does it better actually because this one makes a actually straight like lines. 
at all. But I was going for the shadows, but because I have a, I believe it's a copper, uh, it's a copper metallic finishing. I think this distressed look is going to work in the end. What I'm going to do, that is my metallic, the Ferrari Metallica. I'm not sure if it's a patina, but especially for this, for these things. I'm going to shade a little bit more on the corners. Yeah, this old beat up brush is doing a, is doing a better job. So I'm gonna try to make this area lighter. It did not came 100% what I was expecting to about. Oh, don't look bad. <laughs> it looks pretty good actually. And there you go. Okay, hey, say only on the corners. Right here. This is totally dry brush. Totally and absolutely. Better, huh? In the corner. This is totally and absolutely. Uh, dry brush. Let me make this guy even. Put a little corner. There. There you go. In the corner, 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 corner. So I was practicing with the small parts because um, before I screw this up, I can fix them that are small. Before going to the big, uh, to the big doors and I won't, I won't like to do that really. If it's going to be messed up. All right, just wanted to add. Oh, I should have let it dry. If you don't let this thing, it dries in about an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how, how thick you're going. Yeah. No crap. It doesn't look. It doesn't look right. Look. Not bad at all. It looks better when you finish it. We tried on the furniture already and approved. All right, I like this baby dry, and I'm going to go to the bigger part, to the bigger pieces. the color of this or the rest of the it chose the doors um, concerning about adding a little bit more of the light blue but it's going to stay like that the frame is going to be darker and chose the inside it's going to be like that when you put the whole thing together it's a way different uh, sensation but I'll consider about making it lighter but right now I'm going to leave it just like this There is three doors, there is one more left. I'm still thinking making it lighter. Sometimes I probably have to see that all the whole piece in conjunction. I mean like put it all together, you know. That can make everything look different. But this is the second door. And then we have three big uh, doors. Door doors? Doors? Whatever you call that, and two little ones, and some glass windows actually. That we're thinking about just leaving it, um, just leaving it a uh, wood color and missing it. Uh, is that what you know? It's going off. All right, for now, like this, uh, like that. solid wood. It's like real solid wood. 
Not like the doors are. I did change a brush for this one. I was thinking I will need a bigger brush. You guys, you have to see this. This is insane. This is the gold metallic medium we'll color. I'm just oh my god, I got gold in here. I'm doing it with a little gold. Wait a minute. I think if I use a new port of gold. Why don't I hold it there like this? Look, this is so cool. <laughs> so cool. Now I'm doing my corners. It kinda, yeah, it's giving it the metallic look, but in the same way, uh, a rustic, rustic kinda look. also aging it I, I don't know about you but I never tried this medium before this is amazing I'm very pleased with this oh I was also doing a little bit inside Put, put together now with the final with the final thing to uh, all the parts that I have done, of course. Ta -da! I don't know if it's really showing there, but over here is pretty cool. Really cool. All right. Okay, I'm going to play with a little, tiny little doors here. Uh, I want to do it in conjunction with the handles. 
So let me see how this thing goes on the on hair. Oh wow, look at that. Of course the hand of a metal, but still, this is enhancing the hell out of it. Right there. These are their original, uh, their original handles. So now I have to check. Cannot tell, probably, but probably in the corners here. Wait, I almost had a blob of this. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Corner corners. Yep. I need to see it with the handle so I can have a better I can have a better guess. kind of aging and like I said before it also kind of ages it go. oh my goodness it looks great so today I found something new this medium <laughs> it was just right there on the craft store Gotta be careful because once this is extending, that's it. <laughs> I can't really remove it. Wow, my goodness. I'm going to add like on the other side. It was kind of like an accident having it here. But it looks perfect. Oh my god. There you go. I think it's good enough. It went a little bit crazy on the sides, but got them. That's good. Come on, accident happened. Oh, there you go. Oh, big accident there. It looks good too. Burning. And now you know why I like living here. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, the boy and girl. Oh my goodness! It's a young male, though, no? He has a fussy. He has a fussy burn. Oh, the whole, uh, the whole, um, the whole field's full. <laughs> oh, they're all elves over there. last step um, sealing it actually with this is actually wax it's all white but it's supposed to dry clear um, you're working with chalk paints you must uh, seal it with this 
wax medium or else I guess it will chip off and I'm just following all the instructions as I saw in the other tutorials so I don't want to take the risk of, after working all of this my paint's gonna start chipping off so that would be horrible that would be very bad Right. Down. Jesus Christ. Down there. So I have to do that with everybody. Wax sealing. This thing actually is supposed to dry in 16 minutes, no? Just in a few, few minutes. 60? So. I'm hoping so because it does look opaque and I don't like that at all. It's supposed to dry clear. Alright, do it. The doors. In just this, it was a project of the whole, whole day project. And I'm not regret it. I don't know where it's so far. I'm very happy with the results. I think it was decent for my very first time trying this technique. There's a hair in that far corner over there. You see it? Cheap brush. Actually, this is wasn't this brush expensive in reality? It was, but still cheap. That is crap, yeah. Just goes to show it doesn't matter if you pay $5 for a brush or $50 for a brush, you can always get a crappy cheap brush. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting the hairs. The hairs are coming out. I want to seal this thing too, yes. That's metal, so nobody's going to be handling that, so I think I'm good. I don't expect this to paint to be fully attached to metal. 